Baylor professor Brian Brooks and his group are leading the research to design chemicals and materials that are less toxic to humans and the environment. What we're trying to do is understand the attributes of chemicals that cause them to be useful and not problematic. The challenge is to um, adapt and perhaps identify trade-offs, identify those substances that are more sustainable, less hazardous, but remain efficacious. And in doing so, this is one way to protect the quality of our water, our air, and our food supplies. Our hope is that we train hundreds of students that go out and make a bigger impact than we ever will as an individual. And that's the unique aspect of what we're doing here at Baylor with this particular topic. Our students are at the, the forefront, at the center of everything we do. Uh, it's a team approach, whether they be undergraduates, graduate students, PhDs, or professors, working together ultimately to provide solutions for some of our most uh, challenging problems for sustainable environmental quality. I'm deciding to come to Baylor and to work with Dr. Brooks have completely changed my career prospects. I've been able to work on a variety of projects since coming to Baylor. Uh, everything from in-lab molecular toxicology experiments to going out into the field and trying to see how uh, urbanization is affecting our, our ecosystems. Most of the time the students get to do the fun work, right? <laughs> Actually collecting the data, uh, being involved in the experiments, uh, going out in the lab. Um, and so research is, is the purest form in my estimation of mentoring. Baylor is leading the research corps on a $4.4 million project that is a collaborative effort with researchers at three other universities. Well, this, this new grant um, is, a, is a very unique project because it involves uh, chemistry expertise at Yale University and George Washington University and molecular biology and toxicology and uh, professional education expertise at the University of Washington School of Public Health, coupled with our expertise in environmental quality toxicology here at Baylor. The work being done by Brooks and his colleagues reaches across other academic disciplines, not only at Baylor, but around the world. I think there's definitely been a rise of interdisciplinary collaborations, um, not only here at Baylor, within departments, between universities, and really between fields, and I think that's the only way to go forward. We have to engage colleagues in those various disciplines, and that's what we're doing. Almost every one of our currently externally funded projects uh, are collaborative efforts with uh, chemists, engineers, biologists at other universities, uh, not just in the Big 12 Conference, uh, but within the United States and also on five continents. How can we be more prospective in our thinking as opposed to reactive? So let's learn lessons from other disciplines, from chemistry, from biology, from the engineering sciences. Let's then apply those lessons in new ways to be able to address some of our, our greatest challenges. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.